Namaste. Love and light, star seed. So, <clears throat> I feel like right now in your present moment, you are dealing with a lot of people that are stuck in this limiting belief system. But, like, this limiting belief is the karmics not believing in you because they don't believe in themselves to be in, like, star energy or to, like, embody their light, to activate their light, okay? Somebody's having a hard time activating their light codes. They're having a hard time healing, which will lead to activating their light codes. Even, someone's even a hard, having a hard time activating you know their royal light codes which will like you know um enlighten them into their royalties okay they're crowning all right this person is having a hard time you know establishing that for themselves somebody's having a hard time establishing something okay you know put something in the ground here okay this karmic is having a hard time putting you in the ground here okay that's what i'm getting yeah look <clears throat> this karmic they're having a hard time releasing you but it's because they won't release you. They just need to release you. They're like saying things like, I'm having a hard time releasing you. But they, it's like they haven't released you. All right, this person haven't set you free. I feel like this person is like, honestly, I'm getting spells. This person is purposely doing spells, all right, to keep you trapped. It's like, okay, their way of releasing you is their spells working, all right? By them not being able to, you know... Make their spells work. It's like them saying they, they can't release you. They they want you offline. They want you off social media. All right. They're trying to like pop and burst your bubble of your dreams. This person is almost trying to say you're not going to ascend to the 5D to the new earth. You're going to crash and, and um collapse with this 3D. I feel like that's for this person. This person is going to jail. All right. This karmic is going to jail. This can even be spiritual jail or this can even be like death. All right. And then once they die, they're going to, once they die, they're going to pass over to spiritual jail. Somebody's going to meet up with their dad in hell what the freak okay somebody father could be in hell or this could be like hades see i'm getting hades a karmic soul is going to meet up with hades <clears throat> all right i'm getting after after i'm done with them so after your ancestors are done with this karmic and the and, and whatever they're doing to them in the 3d i'm getting wrapping them up in the 3d tying them up in the 3d whatever they're doing to you in the 3d they're about to stop doing that and it's your ancestors it's the nature the forces at b all right you're I'm getting your spirits as a part of nature here. They're like, they move with nature. This could be the spirits of the wind here. You guys could be elementists, alchemists. Girl, I thought you had this. Okay, well, hold on. Let me say this one part. All right, but your ancestors, all right, that are, you know, that have access to the 3D, okay? And I'm even getting ancestors that are in the ancestral realm that come down in the 3D here. All right, they like mask themselves, okay, or blending you know with nature or whatever like that and they're dealing with this karmic but once they deal with this karmic in the 3d they're going to send this karmic to the pits of hell and they going to have to deal with hades all right let me um put some fries for her come on let's uh, you know it's gonna have to cook right you know it's not gonna be done right away Yeah. So what I'm picking up is that this karmic don't understand like how can how can the spirits move with the wind? How how can they communicate to you through the wind? Well, if this karmic was a true alchemist and elementist and a true a true like good witch, they would know that the spirits communicate with us through the wind. The wind or air represents communication, right? One of the aspects of air or wind is communication. All right, the spirits live within the wind here. You can feel that. I mean, this karmic is not one with self. If they was, they would they would not be questioning this. And this is why they're trying to limit your belief because they don't understand your lingo they don't understand your spirituality this is giving me like oppressive energy you remember how the white man they came onto our territory and tried to tell us that we was living wrong because they didn't understand us this karmic is giving me that same oppressive energy they don't understand your spirituality all right and they're trying to oppress you i feel like this karmic ancestors are of the oppressor okay wow i'm seeing wow Wow, I'm seeing one of their ancestors is like a white judge that was in the Supreme Court that was ruling for a lot of like, you know, black people to like die, hang black people, black slaves and all of that shit. Yeah, man, runaway slaves, okay? And they were just hanging us for nothing. And this karmic ancestors is a part of the oppressor. This is why they're not welcome to this new earth. They're not welcome by the ancestors because they need to heal that part of the bloodline, okay? Forgive themselves. 
forgive their ancestors for whatever they've done. Like, they need to repent here. They need to do, like, the right thing. They're still, like, in this, you know, dogmatic, like, mindset. And they don't need to be in that. Like, honestly. All right, you guys are enough. You are way more than enough. I feel like you're too good for this karmic. You're too good for this karmic here. Let me, um, I'm getting... All of this energy is the karmic's energy. All this energy you're feeling is the karmic's energy here. It's their confusion. It's their delusion. They want your stardom. They want your starlight. They want your inspiration. They want your enlightenment. What they your enlightenment. They want your light. They want what makes you whole. This is definitely someone that is like satanic. I'm getting like a satanist. But this is clearly someone that does not hold light here. They don't have light. All right. Maybe they sold their soul and, and they can't, you know, get access or a part of themselves anymore where they can like evolve here they're stuck in darkness they're stuck in that trap all right they're stuck in like some entrapment here wow this karmic is a hot ass mess they are like so confused they look at you confused all right because they don't understand you and, and that's why i'm getting like they're confused here this karmic is confused like i'm getting the moon is confusing them i feel like this full moon is going to confuse this karmic even more the moon is playing tricks on them I'm getting a Papa Leg about work with the moon here. He have lunar um gifts here. If this karmic working with Papa Leg by this full moon, he's gonna trick this karmic here. This karmic is too curious. They keep asking spirit, keep asking. I'm even getting God, even asking God about you. Like, show me divine feminine vision here. Show me what's what's in her, what, what she's envisioning, what's her vision. They asking the spirit, and then and, 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 and spirit, I'm getting spirit is like spitting on them. All right, they is like what and I'm getting, oh my god. Whatever energy, okay, because, you know, even with tarot, this is energy. Whatever energy they're feeling, all right, that is coming from you is not true. It's illusion here. It's delusion. Okay, this person don't want to talk about when they get rejected as well, when the cards reject them. They just want to, I feel like this person is making up a lot of shit, too. I feel like they're making up a lot of their stories, which is why the spirits is keeping them in delusion, because they, they entrap themselves in it by making this shit up. It's all energy, y'all. Even lies is energy. And it's like... You, you know, what makes it delusion or illusion is because of the lie, it does not match reality. It never happened. But a person will live in a lie and believe that it's true and it will drive them crazy. They thinking all these different people around them is after them and, and, and it's not true. It's not true. It's just that it all started from a lie. They think this person after them. So then their inner demons like, be careful of that person and be careful of that person. Be careful of that person. Even be careful of the of the beings and the stars. Don't trust the stars. Trust darkness. Trust me. And next thing you know. Okay, thank you, baby. She's I love her. I'm my baby. Listen, all right. Next thing you know, this karmic is caught up in darkness. Okay, it's like they need light here. They need some type of spark. They don't have a spark. This karmic is losing their spark here. Whatever cosmic spark that they did, like you know, grow into, I feel like they are losing that because of their choices. They're choosing darkness. They're choosing fear. Envy is fear. Jealousy is fear. All right, the fear of someone, you know, achieving more and, and having better than you. All that st stems and starts from fear, Star Seeds. It does not stem from love. Jealousy don't stem from love. It stems from fear. This person don't have to admit to you that they're jealous, but, you know, within themselves, they know that they're hating. They know that they're dry hating. All right, they're like, they're tapping in to see if you're blue. All right, to see what is your Star Seed type. This person, man, they're an alien. This is an alien. All right, I don't care if they look like a human. They are a fucking alien here. All right, you guys have an alien that is not of your species or of your race or have not even came from your race tapping into you and your cosmic DNA. Just your, yeah, to see what's, you know, your DNA inscriptions here, what your and DNA is encoded or inscripted with. They're trying to see this, like, and, and who is inscripted by, who is it coded by. This person really trying to tap into your energy here. All right, I'm getting, like, tech techno this person could be trying to use like certain, certain technologies to tap into your energy as well outside of like the third eye here and i'm getting engineer or i'm getting techno near here I somebody that <laughs> that's supposed to be a, the real term someone that is like i guess a technological engineer here okay this person wow this person is mad because they can't tap in and channel the star beings and they can't talk with them like how you guys can like how i can wow this person is trying to be technical with you here but that's not being free flowing here or like free spirited it's like if you're being technical all the time all right it's like you're never going to like tap into the hidden depths or the hidden truth here all right wow this person is not tapped in 
all right they're like tapped into the like to, to in, into the clouds here clouded energy that's like they could be tapped into like imagination and thought the 4d they're tapped into the 4d all right so they're picking up a whole bunch of other people like energy all right information and stuff like even knowledge here all right, wow. It's like, wow, wow, wow. They're like, whatever knowledge they're receiving, they're getting it from the 4D, and it could be, like, other people's thoughts, other people's ideas, other people's visions here, or from, like, spirits that's in the 4D. What happened? I'm using it for recording. Yeah, I feel like you guys are blue here. That's like Assyrians are blue, Palladians are blue. blue. I know this other ones here. This person was being nosy to see why do why do they care? <clears throat> it's because they want to know about that about that for themselves here. Like they subconsciously want to know if they're like that, so they have to feed off of you and find out information about you first, so they can like match up and see if that's the same with them. This person is still in energy. They're still in your energy. Okay. All right, I'm getting there stealing your energy to see if it works for them. And they're stealing your energy, all right, to see, you know, who you are. All right, to find out who you are here. Wow, just, oh, wow, I just saw 11, 11. All right, well, 11, 12, right when I looked in turn 11, 12. Y'all could be seeing 11, 11, barely making it, or you're just now seeing 11, 11, like right when it turned 11, 11. This karmic could be hating because you see 11, 11. I picked that up before. The karmic is still hating because you see like angel numbers and they could be missing them. This person is really like spiritually jealous. All right, they have a jealous spirit, a jealous heart, and then they have inner child issues. They're very childish. For them to be jealous of you seeing 11, 11 shows how childish they are. For them to be jealous of, you know, you just being spiritual, it shows that they're childish. Like they're missing that. This karmic is missing their inner child. They could have like sold their inner child to the devil here. Wow. Wow here. I'm getting um Papa Legba here. They could have like sold a child sold to the devil here. They could have tried to do like a, a, a soul sacrifice with Papa Legba as well. Wow. This could be like, you know, the devil side of like Papa Legba issue. Or this could be like the actual like devil, like Satan. Okay. Take it out resonates here. This karmic is mad here. They mad that you exposing the truth. Alright, it's like this karmic... They had, oh my God, I'm, wow. So for some of you guys, you had a vision that you was like, you was on TV or you had a vision that you was made for TV here. Now for others of you guys, I'm picking up this karmic, tapped into your energy and picked up that you're meant to be on TV. And they were trying to hide that blessing from you, hide that treasure from you. But your ancestors, it's like they're finding it and giving it to you because this was given, a, this was a gift given from your ancestors. All right. And you guys got gifts. That's coming from the most high as well. This karmic just don't know how connected you are. Look, <laughs> the journey. You guys are walking your own journey. Your own true authentic self journey here. Your journey is outside of these karmic's limiting beliefs of you. Whatever limiting beliefs they have about you, for you, I'm getting about and for. So however they feel about you don't matter. Whatever they think is happening for you is not true. Okay, this journey is all yours. They keep tapping into your journey to see what's coming in for you. Why are they so jealous? Why are they so tapped into your energy here? They need to, I'm getting, they need to like close their eyes and go to sleep. They need to take a rest from whatever it is that is keeping them obsessed. Take a rest from spirituality. Take a rest from competition. They need to take a rest here. They need to take a long break here. This karma don't want to admit that they're feeling depressed, sad, emotional, like in their feelings over you. They don't want to admit it. I'm not in my feelings. Like this karmic is clearly like in their feelings and they're, they're clearly like hungry. They're deprived. Like people know this person is like going through it right now and bless you. And they're trying to like point fingers and play the victim. And they're also like trying to feed off of others energy because they are deprived here. All right. Yeah. I can't make it up. This person needs to rest. They need to drink them some coffee, sit under the sun, um, the sunlight, the moonlight, whatever, and rest. Don't sit under the moonlight and be praying for a curse to manifest. Sit under the moonlight and praise and talk to yourself. Okay? Praise yourself and love yourself here. Okay? Before you go ahead and start praising somebody else, you need to love yourself first. That's why they do say, you know, God is within you. Okay? It's like you're not going to find what you're looking for outside. Okay? And you're not going to understand, you know, because you're not going to understand the true God if you don't first find him within. Okay, you're going to have all these crazy ass assumptions and, and, and all this extra stuff of who God is. Okay, all right. And a karmic could be jealous because you know who God is and other people know who God is. But this karmic, they can't see it. So they believe and think that they're better. All right. Than you and others. I'm telling you, this person, man, they're fucked up. Their mind is effed up. Okay, their mind is bad here. We have wholeness, money. Yeah, wow. 
wow i feel like you guys are like making money for yourself manifesting here and this karmic is trying to say all you care about is money like whatever inspires you you only care about the money that's that 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 comes with it all right this person only cares about money and they wish they can manifest money like you all right man listen y'all check out my instagram my reels okay all right i feel like y'all should watch one of them all right but i feel like this karmic is saying money makes you whole and complete. Like, they, they're trying to say you obsessed with money. This person is childish. That's the childish thing to say. You obsessed with money. You know, like, <clears throat> just 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 for you working. You working, doing your thing, and they're saying you obsessed with money. You childish. Why don't you give Divine Feminine credit and, and, and <clears throat> give her accolades and her flowers because she deserve it. <clears throat> I feel like this karmic is obsessed with money. That's why they keep feeding off of your energy for money and prosperity. All right, you guys manifested money for yourself look wholeness money inspiration okay whatever inspired you you manifested money from it you manifested a way for you to make money from it to make money off of this here and it's like i feel like you guys feel whole because you're able to like take care of yourself you're feeling stable again it's not it's not the money it's the fact that you built stability for yourself you built the foundation and it's working all right and this karmic is trying to destroy that they stupid they stupid because they destroyed themselves here and you're still receiving all right, you're still receiving from the most high. And you about to receive what the world has in store for you. Positivity. Okay, the, the world, what the world has in store for you will be like love from the collective, love from the people that you're helping here. The world is changing into a better place. It's not going down. We already went through a whole two thousand a two thousand plus year dark cycle here. Like how dark can it get? Like, do y'all not know what we went through in the past? All right, how they was like, you know, not just hanging us, but how the way they used to kill us. All right, how they used to use our blood and bathe in our blood and do rituals on our babies and stuff like that. And they stole our black magic and shit. Y'all, like, in our light magic and and, 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 tra and, and, and trapped away what kept and trapped us from our, our light magic. All right, and then used black magic on us, okay? And then got everybody else thinking that black magic is horrible, okay? When it's like, and then you have people like, like these karmas that do black magic for wicked and evil. And that's why I backfire on them and make them crazy and make them think that they're right and they're not right. It's their demons. And they can't see that it's their demons because their head ain't right from the start. So they're not aware, okay? But understand the world is changing. We went through so much already. There's no need for, uh, for this world to, 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 to get 10 times more worse. We already went through the worst. All right, and, and right now we are, like, if you want to consider what is the worst, I, the worst is worst is worst is time. All right, well, I can't even, I can't even compare because they're all bad. Even the psychological warfare we're going through right now. All this, you know, technology and the media and all that extra stuff. Control of technology and the media. That's, that's just as bad as us being like hanged and slaved and shit like that. We spiritually entrapped. At least back then we had spirit and we was acknowledged as spirit in the ancestors. But as you can see, they stayed, slowly started stripping us from our ancestors here. And a lot of, a, a lot of, um, no offense to anyone, but a lot of black people was also watering down the bloodline by mingling with these, with the oppressor. Even these, no offense, but <laughs> the mulattoes too. And I understand Marie Love was a mulatto for anyone that is ignorant. I understand that. All right, but I understand the bloodline that she comes from as well. And I understand that a lot of our bloodline got crossed up because of slavery. I won't be surprised. I know I have um European in my bloodline. I know I do. And it's because the bloodline got crossed up. But we ain't making it any better if we keep getting ourselves crossed up. Okay, we got to break the chain, break the bloodline. Once we find out we got a oppressor in our bloodline, we got to fight his ass and get him out of here. A lot of these karmas ain't doing that. They just, they keeping the oppression going. They keeping the karmic generational cycle going. Okay? Like, honestly, I'm getting you ask, you shall receive. You guys ask for this karmic to be released and they're being released and you're about to receive, you know, your accolades, your birth right here. I'm getting this karmic is not asking for you to be released. They're asking for you to die. They're asking for you to be cursed. They're asking for you to lose everything. They're not asking the spirits to rightfully remove you out of um their life. All right? And, it's, and, and the reason why they're not doing this is because you're not doing anything to them initially in the first place. All right? Time is up for this karmic. Ding, ding, ding. Time is up. The karmic too, took too long to get it together. I'm getting that, that hourglass, that sand hourglass. It's over. It's done. Somebody, somebody, I'm getting somebody's um, soul is going to be like burned into a corpse here. What the hell? Okay. I'm, okay. I'm seeing somebody's soul, you know, turning into dust. 
all right and somebody corpse may burn okay somebody may you know burn in hell here okay it's funny how that came to me and i had to break it down <laughs> i had to break that down but um <clears throat> this karmic is hungry man shit i need to eat me something in 3d all right yeah look they're hungry because you keep putting up and setting up boundaries okay and it's like by you setting up these boundaries, putting up these boundaries, this is like a trap for them, okay? Like bombs going off every time they try to overstep your boundary. But by you doing that, it makes them more hungry because they can't get what's yours and they want what's yours. They hungry for that. They don't want no one else but yours, but your light. This karmic could be being used as a host for an actual demon here, all right? I feel like this karmic is going to die. And they're going to wake up well, like when, they, when, when they realize that there's consciousness, okay? They're going to see that they're in the afterlife. With a bunch of ancestors surrounding them. Shadows. See, a Papa Legba is one of them. All right, but look. New day here. Look at this. See how this door is closed and there's a sun? The reason why you have your door closed is because you're trying to protect your, your, your new beginning, your heaven on earth, your new life. And behind this door is your new day, your new life here. This is your just taking that stepping stone up to the 5D, the new earth. I told y'all that. I told y'all that. And this karmic is hating on that. They're mad. This could be an ex for some of you guys with childhood issues. All right, this could be a female. I'm getting a son here. Wow. Whoa, somebody's son here is doing this to you. An ex-son. That's wicked. All right, you guys are the lotus flower here, man. Y'all the divine feminine. This is like divine synchronicity for you. You guys are transforming into a, a enormous butterfly. These karmas are going to see your transformation, honey. And, and I feel like you could have even asked for this and you're about to receive it. You asked for, the for, for the, I guess, the karmics to see you coming up. Even after they try to knock you down and they're going to see it. Some of them may even see it from jail. Some of them, I feel like a karma is going to see you on TV from jail here. I don't know. I feel like you guys want to make the news, but this is going to be good news. Some of you guys may hit lottery and it's going to be on the news here. Some of y'all are going to be on the news. Like your your good news is going to be on the news. It's going to be celebrated here. Or on like on a, a news blog article or something like that. Like you may even be like honored by someone and they may post you. Somebody want to honor your work here. This is like a part of your destiny here. Your good blessings. A blessing that you did not know about here. That's why Spirit wants you to continue to take step by step. Like, I'm getting, take the steps that you need necessary step by step, okay? Yeah, look, I'm getting, even with your emotions, I'm getting, get through your emotions step by step. Don't try to heal everything right away. Just know your healing is a part of your beacon of light. It's a part of you, trans, you know, transmuting that darkness into light. And it's a part of your story, yeah, with that persona. It's a part of your story. So don't try to rush your healing. Don't try to bypass any emotion that make you feel uneasy. You need to heal it so it can be transmuted into light. And it's a part of your story. It's a, it's a part of your story that needs to be told. Okay? Yeah. And you're going to... Listen, everything is connected. Everything that you went through in this lifetime. All right. And even with your past lives, it's all going to connect as to, like, the story. The story is all connecting here. And it's connecting with your karmics here. All right? Realizing your karmics really did play a big, a big um part. Into like I guess in in um what they've done to you in the past here and like their ancestors, all right your karmic ancestors. Okay, you're realizing their ancestors played a big part in this war, this worldly war. I'm telling you, their ancestors are reptilians, greys, draconians, any other you know dark entity. Some Anunnaki here, the, the negative Anunnaki, right? Okay. We also got to understand the magic that the Anunnaki holds, okay? All right. And, you know, the work that they have done to help manifest, you know, the cosmos here. All right. I guess to add the work that they added. And we do have to understand that, honor that. But at the same time, there are negative Anunnaki. All right. There are negative Anunnaki gods here. Just like, you know, it's positive, negative, everything. All right. We just got to know the difference, know the truth here. Okay. But um, let me put these cards away and let me pull some more. Spirit telling me to pull these away and pull more. Yeah, I feel like your present moment is gonna be changing. All that karmic energy you was feeling that's about to change here. I feel like your villain is like your villain is gonna be set free from your heart and they're gonna have to deal with their real problems. Okay, that's set free. I'm also I'm also getting like kicked out. They're being kicked out of your your space, your energy space, your heart space for a lot of you guys. 
Do the, you got the, that that attachment they have on your soul is is being disconnected. Okay. And spirit is kicking them to the curb. Okay, and into and and, and 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 for them to worry about their own life. All right. It's like you guys are being set free by this karmic being like released. This demon being released here, and they have to deal with their own problems. All right? This karmic is coming up as, like, a crow here. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. This wicked crow or raven. All right? All right? I mean, they could be a part of the raven crew. Okay? There's, like, a raven occult here. Ancient evil raven occult here. Or they was, like, using, like, ravens. The raven's blood. That's why they call themselves the ravens, because they were using the raven's blood. They are a part of that occult here. That was in the past life here. All right, see, and I feel like with this season, they incarnated many times on this planet with this um raven energy, this raven connection here. That's probably why they always do, like, blood work and stuff. All right? This karmic is going to try to, like, brainwash your mind so you won't know this here. They may even try to brainwash mine. All right? But like I said, your present is changing here. Your present moment is changing. You're going to be receiving a lot of presents here as well. Mirror. Wow, with this mirror, I'm getting... You're going to be receiving good energy. While the energy that's being reflected back to the karmic is like negative energy here. Okay? I feel like a karmic mirror work did not work here. All right? To like mirror your energy and to look like you, it did not work here. All right? It did not work. This karmic is scared. The emotion they're feeling right now is a lot of fear here, yeah. And I feel like they have, like, a huge block and restriction over their heart. Like, they are not free. They feel like they're not free here. This karmic could be trying to, like, block out other people. Now I'm getting their energy with this boundary. They're, like, trying to close the door on certain people. Yeah, so they won't see them. They So they won't see them for who they truly are. So they won't see how they really look. So this, the energy that's being mirrored to this karmic is negative energy here. Okay. It's negative energy. Something is being reflected. Your good energy, the energy you put out is being reflected back to you. But, and you're going to be receiving a lot of goodness and presence. And this karmic negative energy is being reflected back to them. All right? They're receiving a lot of, like, death energy. They could feel like they're dying. All right? Well, you play with fire, you get burned. Okay? Let me read this to you guys. Mirrors. So it says, life mirrors us back to ourselves. Encounters in the outer world tells us about our inner world. All right, if we keep experiencing conflict with others, we may find we're projecting our eternal struggles outwardly. By paying attention to what's happening in our lives, we can see where we need healing or where we can grow. Things will happen that are beyond our that are beyond our control, <clears throat> but it's how we respond that reveals our inner workings. Right. All right. As we move forward remember to reflect what's going on in your life at this moment can you trace that can you trace that back to what's happening internally all right we do not see things as they are we see them as who we are anon anonymous okay yeah can you trace that back to something to some to what happened recent internally there we go can you trace that back to what happened internally okay yeah this karma needs to go in and they need to do some inner work. They need to go inside. They need to do some internal work. Okay? Because I feel like all of the energy that they put out into the outer world is now being reflected back to them. And, and it's affecting their inner world, their inner self. And it's making them think like, damn. Hopefully, it's making them think like, damn. You know, I started this because I put all this energy out there. And now all these curses is happening to me. I'm getting curses to not pay rent. Somebody's having a hard time paying their rent or their bills or something is like not adding up. Somebody's paycheck is not adding up to their bills here. Somebody cannot afford their bills here. Someone was making fun of the fact that you can't afford your bills or like, well, they, someone was making fun of you trying to say that you can't afford your bills. I feel like that was just speculation. They, and they just, they just assume that you, you know, you're poor and all that. And now this person is struggling with like bills. I'm seeing like a bunch of envelopes and a bunch of bills that they can't pay. They don't have the money to pay here. They could be dependent on somebody else to pay these bills, but the energy is like rocky or iffy here. I don't know. This person is just afraid of what they try to manifest for you is going to happen to them. And I feel like it is. This is going to get this person back in alignment. It's going to check them. Because they was not going down the right path. They were not going down the righteous path here. All right? Their chakras all fucked up and misaligned. Their mind and soul is effed up. It's twisted. This person is thinking from a lower nature. Okay? And they don't listen to their mind. 
like, well, I'm sorry, not listen to their mind. I'm sorry, they don't listen to their heart. They don't listen to, like, what their heart tells them. You always should listen to your heart. They say listen to your mind, not your heart. No, your heart going to tell you the truth, all right? The heart going to tell you the truth. They just tell you that so you won't, you know, be in love and be in love frequency, all right? You got to listen to your, your heart here, okay? And it's karmic. It, it's, they all messed up, man. They're not awakened. I'm sorry. Then that's why they can't receive because it's like they're not awakened to their true inner vision. They're trying to like steal from your vision, and that's not what's in alignment for them. Star seeds. I'm telling you, man. I'm getting like a fire. Somebody house might catch on fire. What, man? Listen, I feel like people's gonna laugh at this person if 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 this person house catch on fire and people find out. Somebody's gonna laugh at them. Star seeds. Wow. And I told you this coming here to do some introspection. The energy that's being mirrored back to them is negative energy, and it's making them introspect here. All right. I feel like, man. I feel like this karmic was like forcing you. Was forcing you to introspect, forcing you into a, a, a dark space, a dark night of the soul space. And I feel like the the energy they were trying to place you in, you already healed that. You don't need to go backwards. This karma trying to make you go backwards because they haven't reached your peak yet. Okay, I feel like this karma was forcing, like with this mirror I'm getting, it was forcing energy, you know, into your energetic field to... to reflect certain things that was like not true reflect illusions about you that's not true these illusions are like how they thought of you this karmic is fucked up it's like they can't go to god they don't even believe in god they say god like the god you believe in is your god here they believe in like a one source they don't understand what that one source is they don't understand what oneness is this person believe that they are their own god here they sound like lucifer you your own. We are your, We are our own God. We are our own God. Let's jump to 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 Earth and cause chaos. Let's rule. You know parts of the underworld. This karmic got so many different stories as to what's this and what's that, and it's not true. All right, so just be aware. This karmic they got a bunch of. It's not true here. Don't listen to what they got to say. Okay. This. Listen, I'm I'm not going there. I already said I'm not going there, you know. But if a karmic don't want to believe in the most high, they don't have to believe in the most high. We all know who the creator is. All right, God sees all. Okay. All right, and this and God see this karmic emotions. God see this karmic is desperate. That's why God closed the door on this karmic. Rather they want to believe in your God or their God or any God or not. Hell, there's a higher force that's closing them doors when this damn karmic. They're gonna have to believe it one day. They for a lot of you guys, like I said, this karmic gonna be placed straight into hell. They may not ever get the opportunity to see the most high. So they're gonna always be confused or always be in this mindset. Alright, and I picked up a few months ago for some of you guys, a karmic is God is gonna um delivered a soul to him before placing them into the underworld y'all can see a lot because i am a sign of god okay I, I like i sit at god's table so i can see this stuff and i'm proud of it all right that's why i say it the way i say it because i'm proud of it here okay i'm very proud of it I, you know you know how much work you got to do to sit at god's table not just be a, a, a child of his you got to be a loving child you got to be an obedient child i'm beyond obedient i don't like trouble i don't like karma i don't like that you know, affecting my bloodline and my family. So I follow the most high rules. I follow the, the, the laws of the universe. I would never want to harm, you know, Mother Gaia or, or universe at all. Okay? At all. A lot of these, a lot of the divine feminine, a lot of the, um, I'm sorry, a lot of these karmic masculines was, was abusing the divine feminine, even universe. All right? Using her, you know, cosmic energies to manifest all this dumb shit. Using her cosmic womb to manifest. All of you know, you know the womb is is like the home of the seed. I don't, I can't go there. I, I don't want to go there right now. Okay, I can't because I, I don't want to try to make a karmic get my connection with God, the Most High and Universe. Okay, the Great Mother and the Great Father. I I refuse to do that because the karmic is ignorant and they're going to try to switch up that knowledge and try to twist it into something that is not you know like how they was rewriting our history books yeah this karmic is going to try to rewrite cosmic history in their fucking mind because they want to believe and know god all right and all this extra dumb shit okay i call it dumb shit because it's dumb all right you don't have to follow religion to believe in the most high and you don't have to follow the most high but just know your life is going to be imbalanced and disarray, and you're going to be confused. Okay? Wow, a new day came out. You guys are, like, getting in alignment. All right? Becoming. I'm getting becoming in a bit disalignment. You are becoming. 
this alignment here <laughs> Okay, that's what I'm getting. You guys are becoming who you are. You guys are aligning into, okay? This alignment is like your cosmic self, who you are. You guys are aligning into this, okay? And I feel like it's a part of your new day, new energy here, okay? You guys are aligning with who you are. You are becoming that. You guys are becoming who you are aligning with, okay? You guys have the intention of who it is. It is most likely your higher self, okay? Or a powerful side of you. This could be you being like a, a CEO here, all right? That businessman or woman side of you is waiting for you in that, in that um, higher realm, that higher timeline. You just need to quantum jump there, all right? With your mind, through your mind here. I am powerful. That's going to help quantum jump you into that powerful side of you. The mind is powerful. The thought alone can manifest. That's why I told you a lot of these karmics, their mind is stuck in thought. The 4D, the thought of their life, it, it, it's, it's real in their head. They believe their life, so they stuck in that reality, all right? But everyone else around them is looking at them like they're crazy, like, ooh, what? What you just, when you heard what they just said, what? They, they saying I'm lying on them, I'm not even doing anything to them. This person is saying that because of what they experienced in the past. All right, their past pain of somebody doing that to them, so they think everybody else is like that. Oh, no, this is a bad spirit. This is a bad seed. This is a sour soul. Please stay away from me, okay? You stink. Okay, you stink. You want to make me stink, too. <laughs> All right, but um, let's get a few more, Starcy. Yeah, look, you're growing into your spirituality. You're growing spiritually. You're growing and ascending spiritually, and, like, your, your business here is growing as well. You're growing and flourishing as a whole. And that's going to affect anything else that's around you and connected with you. Including your business. Alright? You grow. Your kids grow. I'm getting. They ascend with you. This karmic is jealous and dumb here. Okay? That's what I'm getting. Okay? You guys are unfolding and, and, and becoming who you are. Growing and unfolding. You are growing and unfolding, you know, these beautiful colors that's within you. Your iridescent, your true light. It's colorful, star seeds. This karma just don't get it. They so dumb. They got a huge brain fart in their mind. It's happening right now. Like I'm, It's like a huge brain fart is happening. And they feeling like dumb, like stupid. Like they don't feel ascended. They feel like descended, like down low. Like they devolved. They have not evolved. They have not elevated. They just de-elevated, if that's the word, okay? And you can tell in their persona. You can tell in their personality that they're not ascending. This karmic is trying to say this about you for a long time, that you're an ego, but and, and you're not ascending. You're arrogant, but it's like you're proud, all right, of who you are. You love yourself and you're confident, so that it, it did bring out your ego. But that doesn't mean your ego is toxic. This karmic got a toxic ego. Their ego spread and attach themselves to other people and make people think like them and poisonous and shit. No, this karmic is bad. All right, they are bad here. This is a bad karmic. This is not a good karmic. All right, ooh, spirit just showed me everything that this karmic and their ancestors done to you and your ancestors is circling back around to them and their ancestors here. Karma is in store and is at play here, star seeds. Okay, listen here. This karmic mad because all you talk about is karma. You could be teaching karma. Oh well, they need to get with the program. Karma is real. Karma is karma, and they're facing karma. All right, they need to rest and receive their karma and stop trying to fight and run from karma because it's making them look like a chicken with their head cut off. All right, somebody is running from blood here. Somebody is running from blood here. They're running from the ancestors making them shed blood. This karma is actually running from the ancestors. They little do this karma. No, they are running from the ancestors. Okay, in the um in the cosmos right now, they think that the ancestors run is riding for them, but really they're after them. They're running. Um, they're actually running from the ancestors. Okay, and the ancestors are, are after them. Okay, stop me. No, stop. The ancestors love you, and that's why you know they're protecting you, they love you so much, they cradle you. All right, damn, yeah. But this karmic is running from like their blood rituals, sacrificing rituals. The ancestors after them, y'all. The, an the ancestors are after every single karmic right now that that was after that try to come after you for blood. Okay, they try to come after you for blood, and now the ancestors are after them. Okay, yeah. The ancestors, yeah, the ancestors are after every single karmic that wanted you to shed blood. Now they're after them so they can shed blood. 
Oh my god, I gotta write. I think that's the whole title here. It may sound a bit dark, but it's true. These karmas are doing dark stuff. So that's why the energy is coming out dark. Y'all can't like control that or help that. All right, besides, you know, healing it. But what's the point of healing or transmuting it if we don't? Well, I don't say what's the point, no, but I, it's like I can't transmute it without dealing with it and seeing it for what it is first. So this is just for what it is. It's dark. Now these karmas is dark as hell. Okay? Hold on. Okay. It's some fries in the air fryer. Go get it. Go get it. All right. Hold on. I'm sorry they're a little crispy. Yeah, you can share. You gotta share. You can't you can't not share me no, you gotta share. Yeah, Starcy, so their rituals are failing now. They're not working anymore. When you felt them once working, you're not gonna feel them at all. Mm-hmm. Even when they was work working, they wasn't working the way that they wanted. Hold on, money. I just got up. You should ask for something. My son told me to do it, but you don't be like some ketchup sometimes. All right, so well, I'm just munching on their fries. <laughs> so yeah. Sorry, y'all. Like an intermission right now. What is an intermission? An intermission. Let me see. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pause or break. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting you on a mission. These karmas can't stop your mission because they're distracted and they lost their purpose or they don't have a mission. They can't try to stop you with money. Turn that down. Yeah, look, you guys are a part of nature. Again, spirit is a part of nature. Spirit is in nature. Spirit is a part of the wind. And this karmic with their dumb lim limiting beliefs just don't believe that. Even when they receive signs and synchronicities about it, they still want to deny it because you said it. Okay, they want to say it first or they want to pick up on that first. That's for somebody here. That's for someone. Like somebody wants to like, you know, seek knowledge for like, what? That would make sense. If it comes to you, it comes to you. But like somebody is coming off as if they seek this knowledge first and and they learned it from you first they got they picked up the energy from you all right your persona is cosmic so people can see that you're cosmic people can see that you're the truth people don't see you as fake you don't look fake you look like you're following your bliss and you're manifesting money out of it all right and this karmic is mad because you manifested they like i'm seeing their their face turn mad and angry like but you're not supposed to manifest money. I'm supposed to be making all the money. That was my dream. That was my intention. Well, they intended to fail because it ain't for them. You got to share me, though. See, look, this karmic don't want to share the space with you. So they're going around telling other people that you're stealing their inspiration. And you're trying to keep them foggy. And that's not true. They're trying to keep your you foggy. Keep you in brain fog. All right, while they steal your inspiration. You see how they're trying to flip down on you? And that's why they're falling. That's why they're having a death moment. An ego death. Or they're going to be out of here. You got to share Come, you know, you gotta share. You gotta allow her to share. You can't be that way. 
All right, and even after the spirit tried to tell this karmic to share, to share, to share, they didn't want to share. They thought, in their mind, they thought they didn't have to share, and that it was you trying to steal their inspiration. When, when in actuality, they saw you and was inspired by you. You are inspiring. You are inspirational. That's a part of your story. You was born here with that gift of inspiration. You are meant to inspire others. Okay, you are meant to inspire others. You're following your bliss and you're, and you're manifesting bread out of it. And this karmic is jealous. Your cosmic flow, your cosmic energy is what's helping you attract money, prosperity. All right? And, 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 and everything else. Any and everything else that you need that makes you, you know, whole and complete. I can't believe this karmic is, is like, they're mad at you, jealous. They are in like messed up energy. I can't get myself caught up in this. I can't get myself caught up in this. Let me, um, clean up the, sp yeah, look, let me change the, the energy. Literally, let's change the energy. We got to change and break this cycle too. This karmic keep, you know, manifesting the same karmic cycle for, you know, for, between you two for things to happen to you and it's not working is it's like by them we you know seeing that it's not working that should be a sign but they're not receiving the sign well you know we got to break that cycle here we just got to stop all right karmic stop doing what you're doing but let's get a few more yeah look higher self you guys are heading towards your higher self i feel like you guys were on rest mode at one point and you guys ascended to your higher self this rest could be healing you guys took a break you slowed down here and you guys decided to just focus on healing you guys did that this karmic is the one that's not resting they the one that needs to rest to to, to ascend to their higher self i don't know where she went look in your room they need to take a rest and ascend so i mean take a rest so they can send ascend into their higher self all right yeah they need time for growth here it's like they're running out of time all right they feel like they don't have enough time to do anything and they need to take a break that's yeah for a lot of you guys your karma's gonna be feeling like that all right and i'm, I'm also getting like higher up is going to be stepping down because it's is that time all right it's like is that that chain that karmic chain is breaking with these like higher up certain like ceos that like have control like george soros and shit their chain is breaking he gonna die soon is he even alive is he still alive look in um look in my bathroom i don't know look under the bed <laughs> he's still alive yeah he's still alive he's about to die soon starcy you see how long they last you see how long they was living 92 years old y'all they listen that's man listen i don't know how to say this just know potion magic potion energy that was keeping them alive and youthful adrenal chrome and, and our kids blood our blood our organs man listen creating stuff with that okay man listen here man they was doing a lot with our organs they was eating them doing all type of stuff man taking pills with our organs so they can be youth man man listen y'all ain't ready for the truth man y'all ain't ready for the truth he about to go he could be watching me i don't care you about to go <laughs> we like us light workers are being like watched by like real like quote unquote elites okay and we don't got time for y'all karmics but spirit also showed me that y'all karmics are tied in with these elites they made deals and pact with these karmics like george soros to take you down and then people like george soros will watch you okay astrally don't think they ain't tapping out don't think that they, um, I mean, don't think that they're not tapping out of this 3D and tapping into whatever else, okay? Because they are, and they be watching. Watching us to see if their plan is working. And then when they see we defeated that karmic, they'll send another karmic. I can't make nothing up. Can't make nothing up. This karmic need to take a break to focus on their higher self. I think that's what's best. They need to get out of all this, like, I'm getting tarot stuff, okay? There's somebody letting, like, tarot get to their head. They got all these, like, different, like ties karmic ties with like tarot so they was like talking with certain entities with their tarot cards and they created karmic ties they created attachments this person could be like talking to like low like dark entities with the tarot cards and they think it's angels this is what they get for trying to follow your bliss here they was probably trying to tap into like you know beings higher i'm getting higher up beings here beings that are like are in the higher ups even in like the underworlds okay even though that's like you know they it's like the power that they hold is still like a high rank even if they like in the underworld so you can't underestimate everything in the underworlds either because they have power too all right and um if this karma was trying to like communicate with, uh, with with any spirits that's around you 
those spirits curse them. Okay, I'm getting a few of them in my mind. Santa Myrta, okay. Hope I said her name right. Excuse me if I didn't. Um, Hades, Papa Lekba, as a few of your saints and your spirits, your ancestors. All right, Byron Samdi, okay, a few of them. They was, like, tapping into them. They may claim, I already know about him, but they never tapped into him. They never, like, they just read him online or heard his name, but they never, like, talked to him, communicated with him, connect, connected with him. You have, you connected with, with these spirits. So they was like, I can tap in it, too. I got tarot cards. You see, you see, you see, I got cards. I can do the same thing. And this is, for any client that's watching, this is resonating with you right now, honey, because you know you do this. All right, and, and, and that shit got their mind all crossed up and, and tied up here. This person fucked up. Okay, they were trying to follow your bliss here. All right? Follow your bliss. And they ended up getting dismissed. <laughs> they tried to follow your bliss and they got dismissed. Okay, your ancestors after all karmics that wanted you to shed blood. Okay? Listen, let me write that down. Okay? They was after your bliss and they got dismissed. <laughs> Listen, that is too funny. All right, well, look, sacred space. Your higher self is within your sacred space. That sacred space is your vessel, your temple. Understand, your vessel is a temple. It's sacred. Keep it safe. And your higher self, all right, is, a, is, 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 is in you. It's your soul. It's there. This karmic is the one that's missing their higher self. They don't want to have a um, soul ascended into higher self. They're still an ego. They're still seated. All right, but they haven't blossomed or bloomed. Okay? They, they're not seated. Okay, like like when we say we are we we are the seed of light, we are, but we also our seed grew into a beautiful flower. This karmic, they ain't watering or nurturing themselves, so their seed ain't growing out of you know. I'm here in the pits of hell. They they can't ascend out of hell. All right, this karmic. Well, anyway, their seed is like you know is we put our seed in the soil and that's darkness, right? Okay, and um. That's where their seed is, still stuck in darkness. Their seed have not ascended to light, okay? They have not ascended to light, so they can't see light here. You know, darkness will always be a part of us. For a lot of us, you know, that core. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. But just know, <laughs> okay? Because I was about to go into something deep, but never mind. I changed my mind. Okay, but, um... We ascended, okay, and, and we've grown here. This karmic have not done that yet, okay? I'm getting the core. Let me just say it. The spirit said the core of us is darkness because we all come from, you know, a lot of people don't want to say I come from darkness, but it's true. We actually have. Our soul actually was risen or arise from darkness here, okay, which then was transform or transmute it into light and when god said well let there be light that's where that comes from that quote-unquote theory which is really facts okay of you know everything that was in this primordial waters was awakened enlightened okay was awake okay active i'm a f i am mean, uh, look in the living room look under the cover well then don't be trying to look for her <laughs> All right, so we, you know, we all do, you know, stem from darkness here. Rather, person want to believe it or not, but it's like <clears throat> it's up to you to enlighten into light and choose ascension, choose the heavens to reach that higher point. Okay, God created this for a reason. Okay, God created this, you know, cosmos, this universe, you know, the way it is for a reason here, because for the soul's journey here, for us to ascend. Okay. And don't look at God as a God that created the cosmos and the planets. And No, no, no. He used, the, okay, the divine feminine, the part of divine feminine's energy, her cosmic creation energy. That's what, that's what that great cosmic womb is, that darkness. That is the divine feminine. The divine feminine is dark, okay? She is dark energy. And he, and he used that energy to manifest, to, to co-create, to create. Okay, that's why I say we are seated in the stars. We are God seeds, star seeds. And God is made up of, of many of the races that you see in this universe today. I told you God is a huge star being here. You can even look at him as a titan if you want to. God was here in the before times. Okay? <laughs> All right, but um, 
Yeah, let's just keep going. Karma need to honor God before they try to break God down. God wouldn't say, I mean, Karma wouldn't say God is Anunnaki. You could look at him as that. Yeah. Sure, yes. All right, because I just said he makes a, you know, he, uh, um, what I just said, all the star beings that we see is a part of God here. And if, if this Anunnaki here, then I'll be, yes, true, true. But the Anunnaki still abuse. That don't change that the Anunnaki abuse thing. I hate when people try to do stuff like that. Well, that means Anun that means God is Anunnaki. Okay, well, that doesn't change that the that one percent of Anunnaki, however how many it is, okay, one or more percent, still did wicked. That have nothing to do with God. What we do on this planet, outside of the mission God gives us, have nothing to do with us. That's our own decision. We are we we are our own compass. All right, and we need to follow that. All right, God could be a part of that compass, but you got to listen. You got to open the doors to God. You got to believe. It's a lot of work. It's hard working with God. God is all about faith. God is all about faith, honey. Okay, and that faith is within you. That faith is what helps you manifest. You got to have faith. When you give it to universe, you're not just giving it to universe and giving it up. All right, you also having faith that this is going to orchestrate for me. Let me leave it alone because I have faith. Not let me leave alone and forget about it and just go ahead and, and, and forget all that I did and just go ahead and do something else. That's like mix up. No. <laughs> you remain grounded and wait patiently for your blessings to come. Now, if you missed it, you missed it. Manifest again. Or if it didn't come, it wasn't meant for you. God gave you something better. Appreciate it. Not all your wants are your needs. Okay? Keep going. Keep going. All right? This karmic wants you to rest, but you keep going. You keep going because you already reached your higher self. And uh, the highest point and peak of, of who you are all right uh, okay what i'm seeing how this karmic met you you was at your peak you reached your peak now you're going through a rebirth or transformation so you can reach a higher part of you a higher point of you all right we have multiple higher self that's higher than the higher self that we are in right now we are waking up to that all right that is like that part of us is being awakened star seeds Okay, honestly, that's why this karma is being demolished here. They're, they're stupid. They keep trying to run up in your sacred space. Like, your space ain't sacred and protected. Like, they can just do this. They can't just do this. They can't just do that to you. I'm getting, like, rape here. Rape charge. A karmic could have, like, raped you or tried to. God forbid if, if, they, uh, uh, if that never happened to you. God forbid, but they could have thought that. They would have had bad consequences because your set your temple your vessel is your temple which is your sacred space they would have went to jail they would have got murdered here they probably would have got murdered in jail all right spirit would have probably broke through the matrix and murdered them because there are stories of that y'all y'all need to watch these ghost stories all right my mom shared one to me i should share um i should share it to my community poll my community board sorry so y'all can see it okay because that was powerful all right, but um, anyone that's trying to do that, you're going to receive justice for it. Karmic justice is like this situation going to balance out. All right, y'all keep going. Y'all don't stop. This karmic wants you to stop. You don't stop. You keep going because you're transforming. I told you. You're going through a huge transformation right now. I'm getting like a moth here. All right, some of you guys could be transforming into a moth. Moths are not bad. Shamans understand moths. Shamans work with moths. All right, moth magic, moth energy. They use the moths for magic. Your medicine and stuff like that. Ain't nothing wrong with the moth, okay? A lot of people want to choose the butterfly because it looks more appealing than the moth. But the moth is actually beautiful as hell. And the moth grow really big. Really big. Alright, but some of y'all could be transforming into a butterfly as well. Regardless if it's a butterfly or a moth, you are transforming and following your bliss. Some of you guys are meant to be in dark energies I'm getting. Some of you guys are meant to be a dark worker. Or a shadow worker, I should say. You're meant to work with the shadows. All right, you're meant to work with the shadows to heal the shadows. Yes. Okay, if you overthink it, you ain't going to understand that. How can I heal the shadows by working with the shadows? You know, don't we need... You're healing your shadow. Overcoming that pain that's embedded in your shadow. Just know the shadow do absorb. And it can absorb heavy energy. You need to release that. Okay? I'm seeing the moth as a shadow and the, and the butterfly as light. Okay? A lot of you guys are going to be merging into... a both moth and butterfly into one a huge beautiful creature rising from the ashes here all right you guys hear spirit spirit tells you what to do and you do it they tell you how to create 
and you do it. They tell you how to manifest, you do it. You follow your ancestors' traditions, honey. You listen to your ancestors. These karmics dumb as hell. They are dumb. They feel dumb. They should feel dumb. They feel so stupid. They should feel like a huge fart, a huge asshole. They should feel dumb for trying to want to change, for wanting to change your spirit, your soul. Change your spirit from unfolding and becoming who he and she truly is. Trying to change you from playing with, you know, playing with your manifestations here. Playing, you know, playing with manifest. Well, let me say it a different way. When you manifest, you're supposed to play. Be in good energy. So this person was trying to block you from playing with your manifestations. Creating here. And that plan could also be experimenting here. They were trying to block you from doing that because they thought you were doing dark magic to them. They're stupid. They need to heal from whoever did dark magic on them that very first time. They probably only got attacked one time. And that shit probably barely affected them because once upon a time they probably was protected and more balanced than they were. And now they're now they afraid of every fucking body doing that shit. Okay? Now they think everybody is the same. They are in fear. They won't heal. And it was like this in this age of Pisces. They came into this new age with those age of Pisces attachments, that age of Pisces mindset. That was the 3D matrix. This 3D matrix was built on this age of Pisces. That was a whole illusion. Pisces rule um, illusions too. That's what I got. Dreamers, dreams, illusions, um, subconscious, illusions in the subconscious. Okay, and the Pisces rule the 12th house, which is subconscious, okay? But um, they're stuck in that mindset, that get back. I got to get back at everybody type of um, mindset. That's, that's how they feel healed and whole and complete when they get back and get revenge. This person is a sour, evil, cold spirit. For a lot of you guys, y'all wasn't even supposed to meet this person. You shouldn't have met them, but you did. I feel like in the past life, you was not supposed to meet this person, but you did. I feel like it was like karma there, okay, or like karmic here. This... There was somebody in your past life that wanted you to receive karma for whatever you could have done, whatever you could have, for whatever you done for your ancestors here. And I feel like this this karmic that was after you in the past life, they, well, whoever that karmic was, they sent this karmic that you're dealing with now, this lifetime that you shouldn't have met. And, and that's how that karmic tie and bond was formed from a, an original karmic here, okay? This original karmic could be that karmic's family member, their bloodline. Okay, you could have overcame their ancestors, beat their asses, so they're like, send this person. Or right, I'll send you to go after this, um, the divine feminine. Y'all could have met in, like, the woods area. You guys were traveling through the woods. This could have been during, like, slavery time when we was escaping and a lot of us were doing magic. All right, a lot of us doing hoodoo, voodoo, all of that. Okay? They just keep it hidden. But that's about to be exposed to all of us chosen ones. And it's up to the chosen ones, all right, to, you know, deliver this knowledge. It's not going to be on TV. All right, it's not going to be tele. Didn't he say it? it? It's not the revolution won't be televised. Didn't he say that this shit is not going to be on TV? Y'all not only certain things like okay, what I shared with NBC, they did share the black cowboys, but then y'all gotta understand who these cowboys were. Some of these cowboys were informants. I mean, inf in informants, informers, informers that snitches. They were snitching to the white man, telling on the Indians, the natives. Okay, they wasn't all goody goody with the Indians. Okay, um. The revolution would not be televised. It would not be televised. It's not going to be televised, y'all. Y'all gonna this is not going to be found on TV or on Google, y'all. Listen, I broke through the matrix this morning. And I found the article on Google, and then I couldn't find them again. Okay, and I was researching some things, you know, that my ancestors was telling me. Okay, I had a deep shocking revelation with my ancestors today. Okay, we man, we was all up in the south. All right, all up in the south, south. Well, that's why I'm here and, and where I'm at right now because I lived here before. Okay, this is like this ley lines was mine. This whole this this fucking property was mine before you know times change. And a lot of us own property back in ancient times and even back then when we just need to find out. Okay? My mom's property was her property in a past life. Okay, that's why my children was born in that house. Okay, and then we, you know, we migrated to the north. All right. We repeated that cycle. All right. I'm bless you, money. I'm pretty sure my ancestors, you know. Free themselves by traveling to the north. That's probably how we know Harriet Tubman. Okay, because we do know her. Uh, okay, I'm just giving you guys like an idea. I'm not telling y'all my business. Uh, Carmen will look at this, but I'm you telling all your business. No, I'm not. I'm teaching my collective so they can so it can help them connect. Okay, bitch ass Carmen. All right, but you know it makes sense because I, I 
connected with something huge today and I, I don't want to you know I want to keep this sacred you know with myself and you know um in my I tell my DM stuff too we was talking about it today but you know this is just for me I'm not going to share it with you guys because this is like something that I connected with and it's a sacred to me all right and when I'm ready to share it most likely it's going to resonate with you guys at that time but I, I I found out a huge history all right that's uh, that's connected with my bloodline okay huge history here i cried i cried don't them, them white people was cold man sold it and they was jealous just like how yo just like how yo karmics are jealous they was jealous of us then how even though we lived in tiki huts and we we was all weird to them they were jealous of our strength and our magic and our power and how they couldn't overrule or overthrow us so easily they were jealous of our integrity our strength all of that they was Mm-hmm. And understand we was invaded. Okay? By cousins of I'm getting cousins of and I'm seeing the Draco um constellation. That's the home of the dragons for me. The bitches wanna say that's where the Dracos live. You ignorant. Home of the dragons is there. Okay? But um and ancients and dragons are very ancient. But the cousins of the fucking dragons. We know who they are, the Draconians and all that. Even if they resided here for a, a, a couple years or however long it was. A couple years as in like light years, right? That's long. All right, they still bullshit. Okay? They still bullshit. And technically, they're not part of our bloodline, even if they are cousins, because they're evil and they're wicked. They don't mix. Okay? They was cut from that. Kicked out of, they could have most likely been kicked out of this universe. And they got the nerve to try to come back and invade us. Okay? I'm still figuring out like... Like, we all know the story, the big story, okay? We got invaded by a bunch of reptilians and stuff. But we need to, there's many whys that needs to be answered. Like, why this, why that? There's a purpose behind everything. That's why the the action, the why, asking why is important. You got to make sure you ask them why, you know, to the right person. You don't want to get the wrong answer, okay? All right, but be open to change and be open to new energy that's coming in. Your crown about to be opening, honey. I'm getting fallopian tube. What? Your fallopian tube is open here? Okay, you about to drop an egg. All right, whoa. Okay, you're very fertile, okay? um, And somebody may need to get, like, ovarian surgery. Somebody need to get surgery with their ovaries. They could have, like, tumors or, like, um, a cyst in their ovaries. They need the surgery. That's bad karma. It's like, okay. For some of y'all, y'all could have, you know, definitely went to the doctor behind some fertility issues with whatever the karmic have done. I don't know. Take it out resonate. But I feel like for my divine star seeds, I feel like... You know, you guys were fine. Like, your this karma is trying to curse your fertility, and then they ended up blessing your fertility because your ancestors' magic so powerful they can transmute. And this karmic is dealing with their curse, and their and their fertility is bad. Like, wow. All right, some of you guys are dark skin here, caramel skin, brown skin here. All right, this karmic could have been talking about the color of your skin. The karmic is trying to hear what you're talking about. They want to know what you're talking about. They would never know what you're talking about. They are like dumb. It's like they're like they're jealous. Like, why can they do this? Why can they do that? I'm a good person. I won't do this with my gifts or my powers. But it's a lie. It's just a trick. It's a facade. It's like they're they're like begging, and they know what to say and do, you know, to beg so they can get their way. And and it's like God is not hearing that because God is strong. You cannot just come with like lies and manipulation and think that you can trick God. Like, no, this karmic may trick like lower demons and shit but they can't trick god and you all right so that's why you continue to follow your intuition about this situation and about this karmic because you know they're trying to trick you all right they don't want you to be open they don't want you to be open to other people here all right so they're trying to like trick you to not connect with other people or they're trying to trick other people to not be open with you so these people need to follow their intuition about this karmic i don't know but this karmic need to heal the inner child because they're very jealous and they want to be in control and rule everybody all right they're too bossy here okay they're too damn bossy i feel like you guys healed your inner child which led you into being in alignment with your future self which is that higher self that we was talking about that you guys are reaching all right that high like that new peak that you're reaching here we all go through rebirths cycles of life all right and i feel like you guys are going through another rebirth another transformation that is activating and sending you into a higher part of you a higher higher self <laughs> okay so yeah uh, uh, spirit let yeah you guys are the light and this karmic's darkness you you was the one that was supposed to expose you know the light within them 
that they could have access to if they was to heal. You could have definitely, you know, your life could have definitely reflected all that they need to work on. But they was too caught up in darkness to get themselves out of it here. They could definitely mirror the same power as you, but they would never access it if they don't do the work. They got to get out of ego. They don't want to be in oneness and unity. They just want to be about me, 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 self, 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 power, 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 abuse, 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 abuse. They can't do that. All right, it's all in their persona that this person is after you. It's you versus them, light versus dark, literally. And this karmic is a part of dark, the dark team. Even if it's cosmic, even if, like, because the karma could say, well, then you just say, dark is cosmic here. Yeah, but it's negative. It's like low vibrational. They're not operating out of cosmic frequencies. They're not doing that. That was, that was removed from them the moment that they did opposite and outside of what the cosmos flow really is about. Okay? When they moved away from that cosmic energy. So it really doesn't matter. This person is, is all in their persona. It's you versus them. Light versus um dark here. They're dark and you're light. This person tried to find the sign and everything and it just shows how crazy that they fucking are. Alright, y'all. <clears throat> you're waking and I feel like the karma's gonna wake up one day and see that you you that your manifestations really worked for you. Okay, they really did. They're gonna see that. Okay, I, I feel like I should pull some scoops. You know, I, I'll do that for another week. Okay, I'm gonna pull y'all star C card. You guys are earth guys and they're jealous of that. They're jealous that God chose you to be an earth guide and God didn't choose them. They been knew God didn't choose them. They came on this planet as a free spirit. They were set free from whatever it is that whatever they were set free from spiritual jail. All right, whatever it is that they've done, I feel like either you know they they did their time, they set free, or they had to come here because of karma debt. All right, but they came here, you know. They came here without that, you know, title of an earth god or earth angel. They came here not chosen as an earth angel. And I feel like a part of them subconsciously knew that. That's why they always in competition with other, like, earth angels here. Because it's like, maybe they want to be an earth angel, but they can't. Maybe they was, but they lost that title and they can't get it back. All right? Because they abused the knowledge and stuff like that, the power here. All right? And I, for some of you guys, I'm getting this karma came on this planet as a free spirit here. Okay, and then they and, and they're leaving this planet in trap. Okay, they fucked up their life, but karma could have fucked up their life, they could have gave up their entire life for nothing. All right, free spirit came out though. You guys have a free spirit in Gaia, yeah. You guys have a free spirit, and you guys are free to roam, mother Gaia. Somebody's going to jail, and you're not. Somebody's going to jail, and you're not. Okay, listen, yeah, I need to watch my Instagram. All right, yeah, and you guys are here to speak the truth. Okay, so keep doing that. I love y'all so much. Namaste.